Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. Let's get started. Let's get down to business. Let's uh, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got going on. Anyway, we've just finished the uh, the sort of setup that we've got to make flying robot frames. It's pretty cool, actually, if I do say so. I kind of like it. It's it's kind of awesome. Uh, and now the big one is gonna be construction robots. Construction robots are, are gonna be the the big one that we're gonna have to, to get set up and get ready to go. Logistics robots? Yeah, not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Uh, one of the main components is that we haven't actually built at all yet is a weak capacitor. Now if I'm not mistaken, yep, yeah, that's part of Ditec Intermaterials. And a weak capacitor is pretty easy to do. It just takes a long ass time to build. Well, I say a long ass time. It doesn't actually take that long, but you know, proportionally, it takes a long time. Uh, so, iron gets turned into copper. No, iron doesn't get turned into copper. Copper plates get turned into copper cable, and iron plates are combined with the copper cable and make a weak capacitor. Awesome. So now, now we're all we're all caught up to date on that. Let's just pick these up, so they're actually. In fact, let's uh, let's get a fast inserter at the end and stick it into a chest. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Where do we want to make construction robots? Where do we want to make construction robots? I don't exactly know. I don't exactly know, actually. I've got an idea. I've got an idea, okay? My idea is we split it, okay? One of the lines goes down here. One of the lines goes down here and gets made into construction robots. The other line is for now buffered but will eventually be made to make logistics robots. So we're always going to have a 50-50 split of robots, if that makes sense. But for now, construction robots is definitely, definitely, definitely a priority. Oh, we've got some. Oh, that's completely awesome. I did not know that. And we cannot actually make a robot port. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Making a robot port is going to be about a billion times harder than I ever uh, thought possible. We're going to need so much. We're going to need so many materials. Holy cow. That's going to take us on an adventure of of a lifetime, I would say. Well, that was a complete exaggeration, but I think you get the picture. Um, I don't think we really need that many things to manufacture construction robots. No, we don't. Weak capacitors are going to be the the main one that we sort of need to watch out for. To be honest... If we can, if we can do it through replication, then by all means, I'm game. Also, we're out of power. We're out of power. We need more power. Let's go and get the power fixed, up and running. Whoop to Daisy. Everything's gravy. Not quite. If the power is not 100%. Okay, how can we fix the power? What is wrong with the power? We haven't even turned this thing online yet. We haven't even given it water. What the fuck am I even thinking about? Of course, that's why it's not going to be okay. That makes complete sense. Now we've just increased our power supply by literally a fifth. And it doesn't even look like it's enough. It's quite close, actually. I feel we need more clean water. Or perhaps we don't. I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure at all. Uh, pipe mark two. Let's make one of them. Oh, we've already got tons of them. Uh huh. And we just want clean water, please. Not entirely sure if we're going to have enough. Yeah, we might not. We not, might not be pumping enough water. Uh, let's try and address that now. Actually, uh, 
Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, that should help things a little bit, but I'm still doubtful that it's actually a water problem. I mean, it might not be. It might not be a water problem. It might just be a... Well, it's not a coal problem, that's for sure. It's not an anything problem. It's not a fuel problem, that's what I mean to say. Both of these are stowed out. Well, I think it might be time to actually go to Pipe Mark 2s for good. I feel that's probably the better course of action. Because they can hold more water, and because they're kind of awesome. But, you know, I'm not entirely sure if that's the right thing to do. We shall have to wait and see. Okay, there we go. Is our power situation any closer to being fixed? Not really, to be honest. Not really at all. Well, that was a little bit of a, a little bit of a wasted journey. Hmm. Don't really know. It's because we're relying increasingly on on uh, on replication. That's what I mean to say. Let's build us ten steam engines. And then let's go and collect the resources for boilers. I mean, you know, we're going to do it. We've got to do it. We've got to do it, unfortunately. Eight boilers on uh, on the construction queue. That means we need another six more. Five, one. Good, that's fine. So power situation will be resolved as soon as it possibly can. But for now, there's not much we can do. Uh, we just got to wait for all this junk to finally make itself yeah exactly see I don't know I don't know how a little man actually makes all of the stuff when he's uh, constantly on the move wow, this takes a long ass time takes a long ass time Wait, what you just picking them all up you sneaky sneaky son of a bitch Yeah, all right. That's that's what I mean. That's what I want you to do. I don't want you to be picking up all of them. Jeez, Louise. It's a bit greedy of you, isn't it? How many have we got on? We've got like a hundred on of a hundred of these on us. Fuck it. Let's just get construction robots down. All right. I'm fucking fed up of saying I'll do robots and I won't do robots. But I am gonna do robots. I just want to get it done like yesterday. Okay. Um. We need basic circuits. Basic circuits. How are we going to do that? What's the ratio of materials that we actually need? We need two basic circuits. Okay, so we've got the robot frames and the weak capacitors. The, they can both travel on this belt here since it's a one-to-one -one ratio that they need. And then we'll have two of these who will travel on a secondary belt down here, right next to it, theoretically. And that, if I'm not mistaken, should work just fine. Okay. Uh, how do we do we want do we even want to do this like this? Yeah, well, screw it. We'll give it Yeah, should be alright. Okay, you now fingers crossed we can actually just utilize this same this uh this this same manufacturing area for both both of these uses. I don't know though, it's gonna be a little bit interesting to say the least. Okay, that can go there. And uh, now we're gonna need a bigger one than that, unfortunately. Okay. That can go up here. Okay. Down there. Down here. And don't forget the customary splitter to make sure that we're servicing both sides of the belt. That's great. And now we're completely out of normal belt again. Not surprised. This was a massive investment in uh, in belt, so I'm okay with going to get some more. 
I like it when a lot of belt goes down. It it fills me with pride, actually. Or maybe maybe it's not pride. Maybe it's just enjoyment. I do like placing belt. It's good fun. I'm I'm sure many people who are watching this feel exactly the same way. Placing belt it gives you an immense amount of satisfaction, shall we say? And uh, it just feels so right, doesn't it? It feels so right. Just placing down belt. That's why I uh, I adore it. I adore it with all my heart. No, that's that's a that's a bit too serious. That's an absolute shambles. I should be ashamed of myself. All right, look. Where is our splitter? There we go. There. Please work now. There we go. That works. That works as intended. That's fantastic. Both sides of the belt. That's what we're after. That's exactly what we need. We've got them coming down in pairs, which is awesome. We've got 27 in there. Let's stick the rest of these in there. We're not, we're not exactly going to need them on our person at the moment. So, uh, What is it now? It is... Blah, 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 the weak capacitors, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So that requires two iron plates and five copper cable. Well... I guess we're gonna... Are we gonna do it through replication? Are we... Are we really... I mean, we're gonna... We're gonna get to the point where we actually need to think about looking at uranium. Because it's the only feasible power source. Oh, in fact, we can... We can set up another line of, uh... Of these thingies. Oh, we are low on fuel. That's worrying. Very, very worrying. Boom, 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 boom. And now we just need some of these. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And that goes there, I suppose. I don't really like putting that there because it sort of stops our expansion. Uh, we'll just place some smaller poles to make up the difference, shall we? Wow, that was short-lived. Let's actually make some small electric poles. We haven't made them for a long time. And let's connect them up through that way there. Okay, awesome. Looks like an absolute shambles, but I really could not care less. I mean, it's it's fine. It'll do. It'll do for now. Um, let's finish placing all the stuff, and then we'll go and dick around with the fuel production area. That's great. So we just need base inserters here, of course, as we always do. I always say this. I, it's, it's the same rigmarole every time, isn't it, that we do this? So we'll build that, take up that, take up that, take up that, and take up that. Need two more of these. That goes there, and that goes there. And now all we need is two of these. And we need a butt ton more fuel, apparently. We need a butt ton more fuel, which is kind of annoying because I was relying on not needing any more fuel. So why is this not putting out... Okay. It's clear to me that we need a lot more chemical plants on the go. Let me guess. We've got a full tank of hydrogen? No, not a full tank, but we're getting there. Okay, great. You can all make... What is effectively at this point explosives? I mean, that's that's what it is. It's compressed, compressed hydrogen, which is highly dangerous. I would just like to uh, to point out: never try and make hydrogen in any form. It is dangerous. Compressed hydrogen, I imagine, is probably even more dangerous. Okay, but that should, fingers crossed, address our fuel problems and in turn address our power problems. No, it doesn't look like it's addressing our power problems at all. It's really kind of annoying. Yeah, well. 
Looks like we need more hydrogen. Do we have any electrolyzers on us? We can make two. Well, let's make two and uh, and set up two more electrolyzers. I think that would be pretty handy. One there. These textures look a bit funky to me, but maybe that's just me. Uh, water electrolysis, water electrolysis, and that goes there, that goes there. Perfect. We only have one void pipe, unfortunately. We're going to need a second one. Void the oxygen, of course, because we don't actually need it at this moment in time. And... That goes there. And just enough pipe to connect up uh, to connect up all the resources we need. Awesome. Now, I'm not entirely sure how long that's going to last. In fact, it's not even powered, so it's not going to even start. Um, fingers crossed that actually does do what it's supposed to. Yeah, it totally should. It totally should. We want to see this number going up. We need to see this number going up. Or at least holding steady. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. But sort of holding steady, I suppose. Which is sort of all we can ask for, really. Wow, we've got a kind of major problem. A problem in a big way. Yeah, we really don't have enough enough fuel here. Hmm. Might be time to actually start turning some of our oil. I don't really want to use the oil, though. I mean... I don't really want to use any of it. Not yet, anyway. Um... What about coal? Is there any is there a place on the map where we can just mine coal and ship it in by train? There must be. There must be a place on the map where we can do that. Let me get in my sweet ass car and go for a little drive. Okay. Can't believe it. I put off construction robots again. I am driving backwards for all of those uh, those keen observers. Coal up here. That's nice. Not driving forwards is uh, a little bit weird, actually. A little coal deposit up here. Biters over here, which won't attack us, obviously. And coal over here. Well, none of it's ideal, to be honest. It's rather close to the base, which is kind of nice, but... Hmm... I guess we've sort of got to, to use this coal over here. Yeah, I guess we will. I guess we totally will. Um, that's not entirely how I intended that to be. We've got to maximize our usage of this coal. And we're all out of those. We're all out of electric mining drills set a butt more to be constructed and let's start belting up this area this is going to be a rather quick job because power is not something we can really afford to to muck around with i'm afraid uh, okay okay there we go Okay, and again, we're not mucking around with power. We just can't muck around with power because it is too valuable, too essential. We just need to get as much coal as we can, stick it on a belt or a train, whatever's easier. What, what is easier, actually? Is it easier to make an entire road network? Make an entire road network, an entire train network, or is it easier just to... I think it might be easier just to belt it, actually. We're going to need a butt-ton of belt. Okay. Where is it going to come down? It's going to come down 
left side of it. So we're gonna need to go a little further this way. Okay, that way. Come on, come on, just go a little bit faster, please. Well, I suppose whoever I'm blaming for the speed, it's my fault anyway. Okay, yeah, there's no way we can combine this on one belt because I'm expecting quite a lot of resources. So I want to take it down in three. Maybe that's wise, maybe it's not. Doesn't really matter. Um, but that's what's sort of happening for now. It's going to be a lot of belt that we're going to need. It's going to be a lot of belt. Holy shit. It's a good thing we've been constantly making basic belt this entire time. Uh, yep, please, today. We want to uh, we want to fix our power situation before the end of the episode. That's for sure. That's probably a little bit overkill on the belt, but you know, it helps to be safe. And, uh, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. As I've probably already said like a billion times. Um... Can't run around that, that's super fucking annoying. There we go. That goes there, that goes there. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered building around it or whatever. That's uh, super annoying. Get rid of that pylon, we don't actually need it. Yep, just come on. You're coming, you're coming with me. Yep. Oh god, it's making so many beeping noises. Come on, please. We need your sweet coal goodness. I know I placed a piece of track wrongly there, but that's okay. Okay, down there. It's all going to go onto one side of the belt for now, but that doesn't really make a difference. So that's a lot of resources that we're expecting to transport, but honestly, I'm doubtful that we will actually get to transport that many resources. Because, quite frankly, I think it's unlikely that we'll mine too much coal from this area. Um, but, you know, we will mine a lot, that's for sure. Okay, that's good. That's fine. We'll do for now. Just fucking seriously. Okay, hop out. And fix the rest of the power manually. So this is gonna be a massive drain on our power to start off with. But we are gonna we are gonna start to see a benefit develop. Oh shit, I've missed uh, I've missed gaps. That's annoying. really annoying actually there we go and there we go okay so it might not be the most efficient way of doing it but it's certainly going to give us a lot of resources which is exactly what we're after and they're all going to be transported back to the furnace area all the way down here which is exactly where they need to be and hopefully our investment will pay off you know because we invested a lot in that new area we messed a lot in belts we invested a lot in everything actually and uh, you know we need the extra power anyway this is about a, a third uh, I would I would say a third of all engines are actually turned off at the moment yeah but that's uh, that's just not good enough that's not good enough I'm afraid how is the hydrogen production area coming along I would guess not so well Probably, well, actually, it's coming along quite nicely. It's 
going a little bit slower, but it's actually okay. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Oh well, I guess I guess we can't complain too much. Ah, here we go. The cavalry has arrived. Nice. Let's get some splitters down. Well, one splitter. That's all I can afford at the moment. Here we go, and that should split it onto the belt more effectively and efficiently. And if we make this fast belt, then that should work. I say should, because when does it ever go as planned? Like, legit, legit, when? When does it ever go as planned? Okay, there we go. So now power problem is not fixed not fixed at all not fixed at all shit <laughs> shit <laughs> well it is sort of fixed sort of fixed sort of uh, we do actually need another splitter where can we get another splitter? What do we need for a splitter? We literally just need a couple of pieces of iron plate. Let me run and quickly get some iron plate then. So we can make another splitter. Okay, I'll make two for good measure. Why the hell not? Oh shit, why did we come up this side? Ah! I'm sorry, forgive me! Okay. Uh, and the reason we want to split it is so that this will go like that. Does that make sense? I don't think it does. I don't think it even works like that. Totally did not work. Um, what's the best way to do this? Probably underground belted here, I would imagine. It's probably the best way of making sure that both sides are fed equally. That goes there. Does that work a little bit better? Yeah, it looks like it's working a lot better, actually. So, our power situation is mostly fixed for now. Is mostly fixed for now. Um, but look, look, these quantum replicators are mega, 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 mega energy hungry. So we are going to need to invest in a brand new energy source. And that brand new energy source, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be uranium. But for now, my name, of course, has been Obert Potato. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.